And the Washington Post reports on prosecutors saying Virginia teenager Nicole Lovell was stabbed to death. The 13-year-old's body was found hidden off a North Carolina road days after she was killed. Two Virginia Tech students are charged in connection with her murder. Don Daler is outside the Montgomery General District Court in Christiansburg, Virginia, with the new developments. Don, good morning. Good morning. Investigators are trying to piece together exactly what happened to Nicole Lovell after she disappeared from her bedroom as her family now plans to say their final goodbyes with a viewing later today and a funeral tomorrow. Coley had a passion for pandas, music, dancing. A devastated Tammy Weeks trembled as she remembered the daughter she called Coley. Nicole touched many people throughout her short life. Yeah, I can't do that part. At a press conference, authorities revealed 13-year-old Nicole Lovell was murdered hours after she snuck out of her bedroom window last Wednesday. A very preliminary determination of the cause of death is stabbing. It's still unclear why Virginia Tech engineering students David Eisenhower and Natalie Keepers allegedly carried out the crime. Keepers is also now accused of being an accessory to the murder before the fact. A new arrest warrant suggests her involvement may have started weeks ago. Well, I never dreamed my daughter would have been talking to a you know, Virginia Tech student. Mm -hmm. Lovell's father and stepmother say they had never heard of her accused killer, but believe the two met online, where Lovell led an active, but at times, secret life. We knew that we're, there were some issues at one time with her on these sites, and we addressed them, and uh, I guess we didn't do enough. Do you think this has something to do with social media? I do, yeah. I'm, I'm convinced of that, yeah. That's one reason why we're here now is to tell parents, look, if you don't think you did enough, do some more. Kick, a messaging app that's popular with young people, released a statement saying that they had cooperated with the FBI's investigation. Uh, Natalie Weeks, uh, excuse me, Natalie Weeks, Natalie uh, Keepers, the third, the second suspect in this murder, is due for arraignment here at the courthouse later today on that increased charge of accessory before the fact. That carries a potential sentence of 20 years to life. Gail. All right, Don, the more you hear, the worse it sounds. Thank you so much.